we've never seen it before, an equipment violation called because of the visor. All right, so let's set the story. Let's explain to everybody where this is all about. At a general manager's meeting last season, the league said that they wanted to crack down on the equipment violation rule 9.7. Visors are to be affixed to the helmets in such a fashion as to ensure adequate eye protection. Don't let them ride up. And Leo Komarov was the star of the video that the league showed to the general managers. He was the guy that they were saying, we have to stop this. This is his first preseason game. He immediately had a problem with it, and he took it off, and he played the rest of the game without it. Komarov has been around long enough that he is eligible not to wear it. This was five days later, a Friday night at home against Buffalo, right from the opening faceoff. The officials went right to Komarov again and said, we don't want this to be a problem. So here's tonight, a face-off early in this game. It seems like it's no problem, no issue here. Here's where the penalty comes. He's on the bench, he comes on the ice, and they were watching for him. The moment Toronto touches the puck, he gets called for the penalty. And he argues it, but it's very clear that the league was looking for him, that they were warning him, and they weren't going to let him get away with it if they felt he was during the regular season. Doug, my bet is this. <laughs> Mike Babcock is going to say no more of this, and this is the last time that Komarov is going to get this penalty. Well, first, as a coach, you got to yell at the referee because it just makes you feel did, a little better. That. And he did that very nicely. But, come on, this... Let, let, nobody can tell me this wasn't a strategy going into the game. Watch Komarov. We've given him enough warnings. We've talked to him enough. We've talked to the GM meetings. His GM should have relayed it to the coach. The coach should have relayed it. Come on. This, this is way offside by Komarov and the Leafs, as far as I'm concerned. So you don't have a problem with the officials I'm laying glad, I'm glad they call it. I mean, if that's a rule, let's call it. The same as the slash and the face up. Let's call it. The strange part is he doesn't have to wear one. No, he's grandfathered and he doesn't need to wear right. one. And his helmet does sit high up on his head, so there is that appearance that it might be tipped up. But, yeah, that's a strange one. We've never seen that before.